Yo, right there, guys. What's going on? And welcome back to the Ultima RTG. Wow. The first official icon purchase has been made. And it's all thanks to Div Rivals and Foot Champ Rewards that we received in the last episode. If you haven't watched it, go and check it out. You won't regret it. Insanity. The best pack luck we've had. Seriously. It's probably some of the best pack luck I've ever had on any FIFA, it just kept giving. And I want to really explain the reasoning behind this icon purchase going forward with the series. It will all make sense. And then Footmas coming around, wow. Okay, we need to prepare the club because like I said, I want to really invest in some of these Footmas cards because I love the promo. If they're gonna release a new SBC every single day, starting from the 14th, 15th until Christmas day, like I say, I want to get involved and I want to make sure I start investing. They might even ask for weekly red inform cards. So if you're thinking about just sticking those into random SBCs, hold off a little bit. Otherwise, you may regret that because you can't really put a price to a red weekly card. It takes a lot of time um, and yeah, they don't really come around too often. So transfer list, a lot has been sold to make sure we made the biggest icon purchase of the series so far. 65 items in total. Stunani, 26,000 coins. Forest, 17k. Lala, that I actually repurchased once again. I was just so eager to put together the starting 11 for this weekend. He was in the side, selling for 28. So I sold him and I bought him back. Waston, 12,000 coins. And this German inform. I know it looks dodgy, 50,000, right? I was chilling on stream, playing a game. Someone came from the RTG series from YouTube to Twitch, and he said, yo, Fuji, you do realize that German inform that you packed is extinct. And I was thinking, well, I did know of the Sancho SBC because I had packed, I think it was Hector during the weekend league rewards, and I sold him for like 30,000. And then he went up to, what was it, like 50, 70 because of that SBC. But I didn't know this 77 German was gonna sell for 50k and yeah he brought it to my attention so shout out to him 50,000 coins that was literally the cherry on top of what we already packed it just kept giving I didn't think it was gonna stop Aguero 241,000 Pogba 434 Mbappe 405 oh, Mane 56,000 so with all of this we made over a million coins from Div Rivals and the Foot Champ packs. How ridiculous is that just in one weekend? So with that being said, what I wanna do, not for Footmas, but during Team of the Year time, is pretty much reset the account. So by that time, we will see all of the tradable players that we've got at the club, any coins that we have actually in liquid, just sitting there, and I'm gonna use all of those together to go and purchase a massive team of the year player. I'm talking, well, hopefully we'll have enough for a Messi, a Ronaldo, something like that, and then start like resetting and building teams around that marquee signing. Or in fact, I'll go for a Modric because it's different and I like Modric uh, in the center back positions. Maybe, in fact, we could go for like a team of the year Varane with Ramos just to uh, like, stop anyone from getting through and then we can start building teams around those it we're just brainstorming ideas right now but that's what i have planned for the series going forward and i think it's going to be a, a lot more enjoyable for you guys and those of you that are getting the game around christmas time because then my team is gonna like pretty much be reset so any informs that wouldn't have got in the side would have because we don't have uh, like an Mbappe in a right wing position anymore. We don't have like Ramos and Varane together. Spoiler alert, that's what we're using right now. So hopefully you understand my decision and I think it's just gonna be a little bit more enjoyable to watch and play for myself because I have like a massive team of the year. So all of this stuff is what's been sold. Let's go and have a look at some of the uh, Footmas investments that I'm gonna make because I wanna get involved. I like the Footmas promo and I want some awesome cards. So before you guys panic, nothing's been confirmed yet that you're gonna be needing the red weekly picks to put towards the Footmas SBCs, but try and think outside the box a little bit. They may ask for it this time around, and if you guys are submitting them towards random SBCs or stuff that isn't really giving you much back, hold off a little bit. Otherwise, you're gonna regret it because they aren't really too easy to come by. You still are forced to play foot champs every single week to get them, and this is what I'm preparing to put in if they are needed, right? So these two, mm, 
well, I haven't really used Keita, and I don't know how he's going to play, so I'll bring him on off the bench one or two times in the weekend league to test him out. If he feels better than Felipe Anderson or Lucas, then I'll keep him at the club. If not, then he's going to be put into the Footmas SBCs. We've got Jao Mario, 84, that didn't really cut it. He wasn't bad, just didn't feel that good. And then Pavlenka being 84 rated, that's decent. And there are so many other keepers to go and purchase so i don't really uh have any any feelings towards wanting to keep him at the club so that's fine then these 84s are stuff that i'm going to be investing in so after this weekend well i'm currently using toban and he is very good i like his finesse shots and stuff he's selling for 130,000, which isn't a bad price i'm gonna get rid of him after the weekend use those coins towards investing for the footmas promo and this is the stuff that i'm gonna go out and purchase some uh, spanish players so it's easy to link up for chemistry a couple of uh, syria players and that's what i'm preparing right now because when we do decide to reset the account during team of the year i need some decent untradeables to be able to use in the team with that team of the year card let me know what you boys are doing with your teams and you think that you're going to be unlocking any of these footmas cards i love the promo and if they do run it similar to fifa 18 do expect them to take up the player's number on the back of their shirt and like run it down and it starts around the 15th i believe leading up to christmas day i'm excited but i'm more excited to show you the biggest icon purchase of the series and the new team that we're running Let's go. So welcome in the comment section, 90 rated Makaleli. And the reasoning for this purchase is that I was looking for an Allen, a super juice version of Allen. And I didn't want to continue using him because of the nationality, the league. It's just restricting the side a little bit too much. And bringing in a midfielder, it just allows the link from the defense to the midfield to the attack without even thinking. So Makaleli, we bought him for 1,190,000 and I love him on the game. He's a very good CDM, and that's what I rely on. Someone with pace, just good tackling ability. It's basically a super-juiced Allen, right? Allen, I don't want to use because it restricts the side and where we want to take the team in the upcoming weeks leading up to team of the year. So McAuley, another reason why I bought him instead of going for like an attacker and stuff is looking at the side that we've got, I have on tradable Hazard. I've got Mbappe that I purchased a couple of weeks ago. We have Griezmann that's been smashing it. Tolvan playing as a right attacking mid. We didn't really need an attacking player just yet. So McAuley, he has already been released as a prime icon SBC. So he's not going to get re-released again, which is awesome. And his price just seems to keep going up. Depending on the time of day, sometimes there aren't any on the market and he's getting listed for 1.3. So I like the fact that we've locked in our coins. Like we've sold on all of that stuff, Divis Rivals and um, Foot Champs, and put it towards this icon so I don't waste them. Otherwise, if I see a million coins just sitting there, I'm going to be doing some like random SBCs. I'll probably get persuaded to do a league SBC, and it's just a waste if I have in mind that I want to go and purchase that team of the year card. But other stuff that we've done, I bought in Adan at 1004, and he saved me in a few of those games. My weekly record right now is 8 and 2. Not the best of starts, like the team is the best ever that we built on the account, but I was very tired playing last night because the night before I didn't get much sleep. I went to bed early, but I just couldn't sleep for some reason. I was restless and I didn't really play too well. And in the two games, well the first loss that I took, I don't believe I should have lost that game, but then going and looking back at some of the results that I won, I probably didn't deserve to win them with how I was playing. So it's balanced itself out. Eight and two I will accept and we can build on that in today's video. Uh, Lala I bought back for 29,000 with the Anchor Chem style. Sergio Ramos has been repurchased, 289,000. I just wanted to see how these two could play together because I've never done that. Alexandra untradeable still. gulavogi has been playing very well alongside Makaleli. Griezmann is still smashing it and I've been using him as the middle cam. Mbappe, as our striker that's a pretty nice record like the assists and the goals so he's really holding on to the play and bringing other people in Torvan as our right attacking mid his finesse shot is wonderful 12 games six goals one assist it would be nice if he felt just a tad better on the ball but it doesn't kill the card he brings a little bit of strength and he's not that slow to be playing in a wide position would I say it's recommended? Probably not. Like he is playable there and that's where I'm using him. But I think it would be best if you use him as a right striker just to cut inside and finesse it. As a middle cam, I don't believe that he has that real technical dribble that I want from a player. But as a striker, 
I think that he would work very well. And then Hazard, obviously, he's been uh, leading the line. So I've been switching into the 4-2-3-1 still. I've got my impact stars ready to be brought on. I feel pretty good on the game. It's just that last night I was tired and I just didn't really play well. I'm feeling fresh today. Let's go and smash the weekend league. Wish me luck. Here we go. We resume foot champs and we're against... A standard Syria side. Please today, can I play well? Because yesterday I was pretty poo. I'm not even going to lie. I rode my luck a little bit. Adam was stepping up for me. In one game, I think he made like 11 saves. So it felt like that anyway. Oh, this is the position. Makaleli. He's going to... I don't know what's wrong with me, man. He's dabbing. I've built one of the best teams... And I'm struggling to play with it right now. We are back into the game. Let's go, Mbappe. I didn't want to get rid of him. He's special. But come on, man. That was poor defending from his uh, from the goal that he scored. I need to sort myself out. Good play. Don't know how I held possession there. A little bit of a heavy touch from Makaleli. Uh, another one from Gulabogi. He's special. Another player that we've got in the starting 11 that can change things. Torvan. Don't get mistaken. He's not like top end, but he's very good for his price. That's the interception that we want. Hazard. Incredible control. What a player. Griezmann. Griezmann. That's in. Oh, I love those rockets. I love them. They feel great to pull off. Time finishing's probably been... Let's go. The best introduction to the game. I love it. It's so satisfying when you hit those greenies. But you've lost connection. He's out of here. And that's the first race career. I thought when that goal went in for him, it was all over. I can't afford to lose three straight away. So now we are, what is it? Nine and two. Game two. Oh dear. Messi, Bale, Modric. Awesome defense. Not allowing me to play like this tight control that I want around the edge of the box, especially against someone like this. Mm, that's it. Mbappe, please, Mbappe. Come on. That's why I want him as the striker instead of, like, Torvan. Someone recommended uh, that to me. Instead of playing, yeah, Torvan out wide, put him striker. But he hasn't got a weaker foot. That's it, Hazard. Go on, Mbappe. Who's that running after me? Yes, he's pressing start. Carlos, where are you going, Carlos? Yes. No, the finish was lacking with Hazard. I thought I timed it right. Oh, he's quit. Well, if that went in, that'd have been even better with Hazard. But it's okay. It's still a rage quit. Another win. Third one it is. And it's a full prim side. Decent defense. I don't know about the kits that I'm using right now. I want to unlock those special digital versions. Like we've got a Man United one, Real Madrid. They look really good. I've already scored two goals towards the Real Madrid one with Ramos and stuff. Please. I'll take it. Two minutes in already. And Griezmann just mops it up. Come on. That's it. Let's get, let's build up a little bit of form today. Let's play back. He is defending quite well though. He's charging me down. I need to start using this against him, though. Add in a few skills. That's in. Not another race quick. Come on. Mbappe, the fox in the box. Those reactions. I was going to score with Tolvan anyway. If he didn't block it, it was going in, I think. Last week, I wasn't getting any race quits. This time around, must be my lucky day. We've had, what is it? Two, three? No, three. Three rage quits. So I don't know how many of you guys yesterday were around to notice that we had a flashback Boateng being released. And I thought it was going to be Jerome Boateng. And I was getting super pumped for that. Because I would have had him in the starting 11 with Neuer. Genuinely would have unlocked Jerome Boateng. It's a shame. Because he didn't come out. And we've got Kevin Prince instead. And I had a look through at some of the challenges that you're, well, needing to complete. 85 team overall with a team of the week player. You've got an 85 rated side with one player from Milan. It's not like that expensive. But when you look at the card and what they've done to him, his height is great. High, medium. So he's going to act as that Hullet type player. Where I would use him is as a CDM rushing through the middle. Right-footed, four-star, four-star, fantastic. His in-game stats, pace is perfectly fine. The shooting, 
the shot power, the long shots, the volleys, the finishing, it looks very nice. The passing, short pass, long pass, curve, dribbling is playable as like your CDM center mid if you keep it simple. And the defending stats, 86 stand tackle, his interceptions are a little bit low and that's 65 marking. So two of his worst stats, 65 marking and 75 stamina. That kills the card a little bit. If he had 85, then it wouldn't be as bad because someone of Boateng's style, you want to get used out of the pace, the aggression, the strength, the stand tackle, just to charge your players down, you know, or your opponents down. And they've just kind of killed him a little bit with that 75 stamina. Otherwise, I would have maybe unlocked him as like a fun card to use every now and then, but not for 150 or 200,000 coins, however much he's going for. And then the league SBCs that were released, where is he? This guy looks insane. 93 pace, 84 defending, 87 physical. And I checked out his in-game stats and he has something like 90 aggression, very good pace. Well, that, that tells you already, but really good in-game uh, stats. And then his stand tackle is like 86 with 84 marking, something along those lines. Like that would be an incredible unlock. I may do him. But then it's how would you link him up in the starting 11. Well, I don't mind playing off chem because that's exactly what I'm doing with Alex Sanchez right now. And it's a good thing that I went out and purchased Makaleli as we've got that icon link. So if you want me to do uh, Tyranny, the left back card, let me know and I will get the squads ready in the upcoming days or, or weeks. I don't know how much he's going to cost. So I'll have to check this stuff out, but I wouldn't mind doing it. And, and the kind of packs that you get back like I know you only receive like prime silvers and, and mostly silver players, but there aren't really too many squads inside of that SBC and the silvers do tend to sell. So I may do it. If you want to see it, let me know. But boys, that is where we're going to be ending the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about the team. And hopefully later tonight on stream, I can recover the weekend league. We are now, what was it? Is it 11 and 2? 11 and 2 doesn't seem too bad. If we can get to like 18 and 2, that is what I'm going to be pushing for today. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck in the weekend league. Leave a like and I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.